Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be looking of course this one I would say one of the most unique mobile suit in terms of the artillery we, that it comes with which of course is the Bandai Master Grade Heavy Arms so as of now we take a look at this um, um, 360 rotation of the MG Heavy Arms when I'm building this kit there isn't much problem of it I mean of course it's a Bandai kit however there is like a small issue there but it's not something to shout about all I need to do is just to be a little bit precaution so yeah anyway now right in front of us is have all everything the artillery opens up and fighting all the I forgot what you call that uh, all, all you need if I'm not mistaken but yeah, this is definitely one of the best looking mobile suit out there. And for the price of it, it's almost as the same price as the Sandrock. But this have like more things to see. And by the way, this um, I only slightly painted a little bit, which is of course you guys can see the silver part. And then so yeah, now here is the final part. As you guys can see, it is not back heavy at all. It can stand, so props to Bandai as well. So you guys can see here, it's mounted on the back. Anyway, once this um, 360, quick 360 rotation is done, then we'll remove the weapons and look at the articulations. So now we'll look at the basic articulation of this MG Bandai Heavy Arms. So of course, we always start from the top of the head. So of course, it can go up and down. However, this is not really that high. You can see it's only like raised to the minimum. This is like basically his normal head is but this like you, you only can tilt up a bit so yeah that's not really much articulation for the head but then nonetheless it's still okay because like i always do most of the time you can move downwards that's it and you can do a 360 rotation but yeah just like that and by the way i've not done any um not much detailing the only detailing I did was to put the silver color on the sort of like the bullet hole and I used this pen here you guys can see metallic silver here but when I have more money then maybe yeah I'll get the Bandai gold color and the silver color marker but anyway let's get back here so of course um, this part here is open it up and one thing cool about this blue part is that is there's actually these two blue parts are actually two separate pieces so that's really good thing to see that they put effort onto that and then here you can app the app crunch just a little bit not a lot see here oops not focus I'm sorry yeah just can move a little bit and it can move side here and then side here not a problem at all I'll do the opening of the um, all the cartridge here last part of the articulation because um, there's something that I would need to talk about that and for you guys to take note of when you are building this kit but yeah anyway now let's proceed to the hands as always the hands you can go 360 here and then you can go all the way out like that as you can see here, there's an articulation there. So that's another good thing to see. I mean, this whole kit, the articulation is actually very good. You guys can see here, all the way here, the hand. And then now, we move it back down here. Is it double jointed? I'm not so sure. But yeah, it's sort of like double jointed. But yeah, just like that. Now, just down here. The hand here, it's a little bit tight um, of course, uh, this to hold on to the guns so you expect it to be uh, slightly tighter so again, that's very good and then here, the front skirt here both are separate individual pieces so that's good to see and then the side skirt here can go all the way up like that and then might as well now at the back here the, again here these two are independent piece together so that's another good thing to see and then here you guys can see the details for the backpack of the heavy arms so again that's another good thing to see 
and then now take on and look at the legs so basically the legs can go all the way up here like that so you guys can actually see even with the cartridge cartridge here the leg actually stick to its position so again that's another good thing to see now let's articulation here okay go all the way back here no problem at all so you guys can see here that's like a small gimmick here so yeah basically it's just that so let me just put it back here you can see here and then push it back up then you're straight on up again and then the front here uh, you can move like that although the back you can't do much but then the leg here you can do like that so it's, it's not to say full 90 degrees but it should it's more than 45 degrees so yeah anyway now let's just put like that and then now we'll move oh i'm sorry here by the way um this thing can just move down and move up that's it the back here the thrusters here are all fixed so yeah i can't really do much so now we'll move on to the cartridge we'll start from the bottom here uh easiest you guys can see here open here open here open here open here so yeah as you guys can see i've painted it silver color so yeah basically this part here there's no problem very easy and then now um, we'll move on to the skirt let me focus again the skirt here you have to push up a little bit open up then you have to push up there like that you guys can see the detail here so yeah then when you want to push it back up you will put up you can see it slightly open up then you just have to push it down you will hear you can feel a slight um, click sound so that's when you know um, the thing is already secured inside and then at the side here you guys can see it can open you can see there's more the bullets inside there so yeah basically just close it and you can you should feel a click sound as well and then now we'll move on to the hands here so basically there's three parts as you guys can see previously before this articulation video started so the first part always is move up here you guys can see and then the back here um this part here you will need to slide up like that don't slide down because you won't be able to do it instead you just slide up so yeah basically this is how it looks like when all three of them open I'll put back position here so yeah you guys can see it's awesome as always so when you want to do just slide back up into position then just push it back down like that so yeah like that and you're done and now to the final piece here the chest piece here when you open it up it's very easy just like that open it up all the way out like that you guys can see here some more detail this is how it looks like and when I'm still there just show you guys the cockpit I'm not sure you guys can see there's a slight white piece there Troa button is inside so yeah just close it back up and then the problem that I want to say is that when I'm closing the chest piece there's a problem which is it can't close and most and there's one time I tried to close it and there's actually like a stretch mark already so what i recommend you guys to do is push it out then the slide in here I'm not sure you guys can see pull it out then you want the position to be in like that like halfway closing already so you just have to push it back in and then you can close it already i'm not sure if this happens to all the kids out there but mine is like that so yeah that's why um i think i'll just leave the mobile suit the chest piece in closing position so to avoid it from being breaking and all so yeah now the articulation for this mobile suit is done we'll look at the weapons next so let me just pause so now the weapons we have here the first thing is the shield here 
looks very good you guys can see just a small detail um it's basically just this big red piece and then they sort of like add like an inner frame here for this gray piece to put on the shield nothing much to show about but it's ready it's very secured and now here we have the military knife here it's just a plain gray piece here so yeah it's a very good articulation as well very smooth and doesn't fall off easily like see like that doesn't fall off easily but yeah i sort of come out a little bit so here one is done and of course next year we have the beam saber here when the heavy arms only have one arm left when he was fighting um togi's one against mark zekis uh when the hero yui was piloting the heavy arms so yeah here's the beam saber but unfortunately the beam saber effect uh, do not come with it so that's kind of sad but i mean there's so many mobile suit out there already come with the mo the beam effect part so you can just replace them anytime you want and then the final piece here is of course the um beam cannon the beam machine gun or the it. and yeah and by the way um this piece here um this part falls off very easily so I would recommend you guys to glue it like I would do next. So yeah, I mean this part here is out. So let me just show you guys here the detailing of this. Looks amazing as well, always. So yeah, basically you can hold two here. So basically one mobile suit, the hand will be holding here and will be holding here. I won't be showing you guys that one because it will take up um, lots of time but yeah nonetheless still like that and here at the front here i just detail it in gray color so yeah basically most of the time your mobile suit will be holding inside this part so and then this part here it's sort of like the feel for it so yeah again nothing to shout about so yep that's it for all the weapons let me just glue this part inside and then i'll get back to you guys so now basically I'm just going to show you guys um, how to mount on the weapons. So the first thing, oh and by the way, forgotten to show this as well. This part here, this red shield, you can mount on the side here of this um, beam machine gun as well. So yeah, next, um, let me remove it. And then now, the first part that you want to do here let me just readjust the position so here um here you first thing you want to put at the side here so this big piece here you just want to put in here there's three there's three holes here so this the two large the loose the two large pieces these two here you put on the first and the last one the middle will be left empty so once you put on there it's actually very secure as well and then this part here um, is actually for mounting on here this part here as well but I won't be doing that I will let I will show you guys instead um, the mobile suit holding the weapons so like I said if I'm not mistaken yeah the handle here inside this one this is a fixed handle so I'll be using this one so this the hand is for easier for it to move I will hold up the hand like that and then here like so and then this piece here you just need to slide it in you just need to get the position for it to slide in then okay if everything is falling off let me just hold it basically it's like that once you once the hand is in position there shouldn't have much problem so yeah it should fix like that as you guys can see the hand can hold up quite high so that's actually good to see that it doesn't um have any problem of it being very heavy you guys can see like that so yeah i'll continue i'll just push it back down again like that just hold slide up a bit and then the shoe the side here just mount it on so yeah and then the one more here the military knife just slide it back up like that however the knife would have to pop up a little bit because due to the fact that 
it will be infiltrating with the backpack here so basically it should be like that because if you put it too straight then it will come in contact with the back part here so that's um sort of like a flaw to it but yeah that's not a big is issue all you need to do is just like adjust it a little bit so yeah basically this kit it's really awesome there's not there's not much complaint for this kit except for maybe this part here the chest piece so yeah it's really amazing here surprisingly there's no back heavy or whatsoever so the legs the legs are actually pretty well done so props to bandai so yeah basically it's just like that let me just do a quick 360 as my camera is already running out so you guys can see it's from from the back it's sort of like falling behind but from the front it's actually not so yeah that's it so yeah basically that's my full review for this heavy arms kit if you want me to rate um, this kit um, I'll rate I'll rate it easily um, 9 out of 10 like seriously this if you do not own this kit I will highly recommend you to get this kit because it really is the money for it is actually pretty reasonable for me I mean yeah basically it is so yep that's it for um, today's review for the Bandai heavy arms and by the way before I end this video I just want to let you guys know that I've already pre-ordered the um, Dragon Ball Boko Strike Freedom and the Tapan Strike Freedom so the reason why I still haven't got it uh, compared to others is because um, the supplier over at the China part they haven't um, sent out the kits to my supplier so that's why I still couldn't get it however uh, my supplier told me that I will be getting the Dragon Ball Boko Strike Freedom this week but then the top and strike freedom i will need to wait until after chinese new year which is probably early february only i will get it so yeah um so the two strike freedom kits i will only um get it in february because even though i will be getting the dragon momoko strike freedom um this week but um yeah i want to save some shipping costs so i would um, only ask my supplier to pass it to me when i get the top and strike freedom as well so yeah, I hope you guys will be looking forward to that as much as I am, although many other reviewers already done the review. But yeah, nonetheless, I will still be doing it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just a quick update for you guys. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any comments or whatsoever, please don't forget to drop it down below in the comment section as I will reply and read them all from time to time again. So yeah, if you have enjoyed please don't forget to like this video and if you're new around here please don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel as there will be more gunpla related stuff or maybe some figurine stuff that i'll be reviewing so yeah as always i hope you guys have a good day and yeah i'll see you guys soon when the new kids arrive